Hey guys, what's up? This is Kevin from liveinbrazil.org and today I'm going to show you how to set up or pick your template for uh, getting your website up and running. And today, picking and choosing a theme or a template is much easier than you might think. In the old days, you used to know, used to know how to program HTML code and all sorts of things, but uh, today it's just a matter of installing WordPress on your website and then just buying or getting some type of theme that will uh, work with WordPress and it's pretty much turnkey. It's pretty awesome. The reason why I choose StudioPress, which is the website I'm, I'm on here, is because that their uh, themes use what's called the Genesis Framework. Um, and that's something that's uh, it's a framework that's search optimized, meaning that it's easily easy for you to get up in the high ranks of Google and found by many people searching for you. Um, it's turnkey, like click, 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 and your website's up and running pretty much. And it's unlimited support and unlimited updates, as you can see there. The other reason I choose, which is not listed here, is because that any free theme, though they may have a couple, there are a few cool ones out there, but they don't have any optimization. They don't have any support whatsoever. And at that, they, um, they a lot of times, they don't offer updates on time, in a timely fashion, uh, which means that they could crash if you get a WordPress update that doesn't, comply with it per se. The professional ones are always really good, really awesome. A lot of them offer like special uh, versions for mobile platforms and such, so on and so forth. Um, let, me, let me just bring you into their showcase um, and show you the one I'm running here. Now the one I chose for my website is called Streamline. The reason I chose it originally was because it was pretty cool looking with a blog layout and you could easily um, you know, get people to sign up for the newsletter and so on. I modified it a bit, not a not a ton, but enough to make a bit of a difference compared to what you can see there. Um, that's not necessary. Um, the way I would recommend you doing is that you choose one that you like um, and stick with it so you don't have to get into any modifying or HTML coding or anything, really. Uh, that way it's easy to do yourself. Because like I said, what you see here is what you get. Here's a good one right here. The freelance, for example, that's awesome for showing uh, and featuring yourself in the business that you want to do. And if you're going to teach English, for example, online, this would be a great uh, great website for you. You could, you know, uh, frame yourself and who you are because it's about you and you teaching English. And then, you know, for example, the uh, different services you offer um, and how to get signed up and maybe a free little course you could do to get people to sign up with you. But as you notice here, they have different options like sidebar content, content sidebar. And that just means it's the different layout of the website. Like you can switch it around, you know. Um, is that the one I just clicked on? Like, you know, flip it around or you can have three different sections. So it's really cool. I mean, this is uh, this all is controlled with in the WordPress dashboard, it's called, which I'll show you later. But this just means that you can, with a click of a button, completely change how your website looks. Very simply. So it's all very turnkey. Like I said, remember what you see is what you get. Um, there's no real heavy modification needing to be done. Now, price-wise, um, we can go look at the. Uh, oh, I'm still in the demo. Sorry. We can look at the price here, and you get what's called the theme and Genesis framework. Eighty bucks. You may be thinking, ah, it's a little bit steep, but but think about it. For a company to build a website, they usually pay several thousand dollars. Um, that's actually pretty cheap. And the reason I went and paid with this framework and in this in these. Um, the streamlined theme was because it, I got this Genesis framework. Once you have the Genesis framework, which is optimized for you know, search engines and things like that, once you have that framework in place, you don't have to ever have to buy it again. So that means that you just have to buy the theme after this. The, the first payment will be 80 bucks, but let's say you want to make another website about you know personal blogging or another website about another business, online business you want to do. Well, then all you have to do is buy the theme, which is like 30 bucks, which is pretty good. And I really like StudioPress because they offer support. Like any questions I had, I could go into the forums and ask questions and I get answered right away and they'd help me out. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but here's the uh, checkout amount. Obviously, you can choose to pay with PayPal or credit card. It's up to you. But after you pay, you'll get an email. The email will contain a link to download it. I have two links. I'll have the link for the Genesis framework and a link for the actual uh, theme or the, the template itself called Freelance Child. Um, it's the child. It means it's like a sub, you know, it's on top of the framework is what child means. Um, and then download those files, the two, there'll be two different zip files. Download, download them to your computer and 
don't do anything with them. Don't open them or extract them or anything because once you install the WordPress system onto your hosting service, then it'll all be really straightforward, really easy. I'm going to go over um, the hosting side of things in the next video. And then after that, I'll show you exactly how to use this template you purchased um, and put it easily onto your hosting service so that you can have a website up and running in within literally within minutes. Um, it's straightforward and it's pretty awesome. So I hope you uh, this was helpful in some way. Uh, like I said, I have the link for this uh, underneath my main page at uh, you know livingbrazil.org or under this YouTube video. And I see you can see all my little windows that are open. Isn't that nice? All right. Well, I'll uh, catch you on the other side later.